morning, happy Friday or happy Saturday if you're watching this. I'm expecting a delivery this morning and it's addressed to the brew shed up at the top. Not every delivery driver knows where unit one is, so we need to help him out. picked up some more plywood because I'm going to extend the table saw base. I've also put together and finished the crosscut sled. So you can see this is basically a sled with two rails that fit into the corresponding slots on the table saw and you put your timbers on there and you slide it backwards and forwards on the saw and you get repeatable cuts every time and it's much easier than running it along a fence. So with that we can sort of get rid of the fence and I made a mini one just with the one leg which I used to cut the new one and this has also got a 45 degree angle on it so I can cut mitres. You do have to be careful of that blade though poking at your fingers so you don't really want your fingers on the edge here. But she works, whew, she works a treat. I've noticed that cutting that timber today though has caused a hell of a lot of dust in here. I've had to put the Unit 1 sign outside to dry because of the dust. So it's going to take a lot longer to dry. I might not get it up on the wall today. So I need to combat this dust problem. 
I was given, as you can see just in the corner there, several lengths of downpipe. So I've just bought some elbows. I'm going to run a loop of pipe all the way around the workshop and every now and then we'll put a branch in there. I do have a branch in here somewhere. And out of this branch we will have a gate and a vacuum hose of some point to collect the dust from wherever we're working. It's another project, I probably don't need to burden myself with it, but by doing this, once it's in place, think of all the sweeping up that I'm going to save. And I can also do a little sweeping area on the floor, so one of these runs straight down to the floor, and you just brush everything into that, and it picks up all the, uh, all the dust. I do have to figure out how I'm going to make the gates though. I'm not 100% sure on that. I feel like this warrants some explanation before I run off too far ahead with this project. Sucking up the dust from the workshop with this old Dyson back works fine, but the filter has to be removed because it gets blocked up so easily with the fine particle dust. So the idea is to build what's known as a cyclone out of this old fermenter. So I've just spent a little bit of time cutting some holes in here with a knife, with a Stanley knife. The top hole fits neatly the uh, accessory connector for the vacuum cleaner. And then on the side here we have another hole. And this is to take a piece of the pipe that I'm going to run around the unit to make it into a dust collector and then also a 90 degree. I could have used a 145 looking at it now, but we'll use the 90, see how it goes. Then that 90 goes on there, inside, and when the air comes through, we're forcing it to go around in a circle. That's the plan. And then when we put the lid on, okay, then all of the vacuum, so to speak, is now directed through this pipe and has to go via this bucket and with the swirling motion all of the heavy particles should fall to the bottom and just air gets sucked up through the top and it works if you watch. So you've got some suction. It's got some real suction behind it, that's a good thing. Now all I need to do is figure out how to put any hose attachments onto here so I can then send them around the shop. So I think what I'm going to do is when I come off of one corner with a gate like this, I'll, uh, with a wire branch like this, I'll make a little wooden gate that slides in and out to block off that particular section of the system. And on the other side of that gate, will be a pipe which houses a hose exactly the right diameter to connect to the tool that I'm using. So I'm going to continue with this project today, looking at the floor now, it's covered in sawdust. I could do with this being put together sooner rather than later. Right, by sheer chance, this old Henry Hoover pipe fits into one of these elbows perfectly. Unbelievable, isn't it? So I'm going to connect this to that and I'm going to use the end to back up the floor and we'll have a look how much dust gets collected in the cyclone. Right, the moment of truth. Let's have a look how much dust is actually in here. Oh well. 
we sort of sucked up a fair bit there, wouldn't you say? Now then, Ronaldo. <laughs> Nice kick. Oh, look at the skills. Careful, that's my car. I want to right. see a funny face. A funny face? Mom, look how fast I can go back. You ready? That is a terribly funny <laughs> face. Right, Gemma buggered off with my batteries. So I've not managed to get too much footage again. It's not going well, is it, this vlogging thing? So I moved this table that was down here, I put it over on that side, dropped in another electrical socket for a box around the mitre saw to enable me to catch all the dust. It seems to be working. And then I've also started to build the cyclone and pipe it in there. So this is where he's gonna live and we'll send pipes up and across down to that box to collect the dust from the mitre across the roof and down to that side to collect dust from the table saw I broke my hover pipe so that's being glued back together and then also we're going to drop some of the pipe work down here so I can have dust collection with flexible hoses for the power tools up there that's the plan I hope it works and then also Froggy came and he brought me he brought me a gun. Now this is on loan only, but he brought me a gun to test out whether this welder works. Here's a clip. Massive shout out to Froggy. He brought me a MIG gun to test if this bad boy works. So we've got it hooked up. Just a bit of wire poked in the end. Let's test her out, baby. Come on now. Oh yeah. So thanks man, big time thanks. I used the earth cable off the TIG welder and she's away. I'm so pleased, I'm so pleased that this works. Good night workshop, see you tomorrow.